very first time that I saw you A nervous wreck, didn't know what to do Out your front door and onto the street Snapping your fingers and keeping a beat A blue-eyed glimmer and a wavy ginger shag Hot dang, ladies! The boy's got swag He's the boy next door, he's really cool He's the boy next door, he makes me drool He's the boy next door, what a smile He's the boy next door, he's got style My name is Larissa Tormi, and today I'm talking to a lovely girl, country singer from actually America. We don't have too often people from USA. They are mother of country music. <laughs> now, Rene, introduce yourself. What's your What's your name, surname? Uh, hi, I'm Rene Levitt. Thanks for having me on. Um, I'm 22 years old. I'm from Massachusetts, and I am a country singer and songwriter. Oh, lovely. So, so nice. I like when songwriter added to the country singer, when you do your own stuff as well. Tell me, since when you started to sing? When um, was it first time? I've been singing since I was about three years old, and I wrote my first song at 13 years old. It's called think... Boy Oh Boy. <laughs> what, what is it? What is it called? Uh, boy Oh Boy. Boy Oh Boy. It was about the boy, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. And first song, and do you play any instrument? Um, so I write the music with my guitar, but I don't use that on stage. I actually have a band instead. Okay, but do you, you don't play guitar on stage? No. Uh, but you, you can play, play guitar though, Vinny, really, can you? Yeah. And yes, when, can. when did you start to play guitar then? How old were you? Um, I got my first guitar at about 12 years old, but I didn't start learning until I was 13. So. And did you have to go to get the professional lessons? How did you learn? Yeah, so um, I started by actually watching YouTube tutorials, um, but then I did go for professional lessons. So tell me, actually, because I, I play piano, I'm pianist myself, I'm kind of always wanted to learn guitar. So what do you think? Should anybody go to on YouTube or to the lessons? What would you say? Um, I think if you're trying to learn a song, the YouTube tutorials work well. But if you're trying to learn technique and how to play more efficiently, then I would definitely suggest lessons. Lessons. Yeah. Uh, how long did it take you to go? Like how, how many lessons did you get? Um, I think I did every single week for about a year, so okay. once a week. Oh, that's long enough, so you were good after that. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, I do find, too, that um, even I play piano pretty well, I have an education and everything, that I sing much better when I don't play. You know, when somebody else is playing for me, how do you find that? Is it better with the band or with yourself playing? Um, personally, I like to focus on my singing, so I like having the band to back me up. Mm -hmm. um, I'd rather put 100% effort into my singing Music, rather than yeah. split it between ah, the guitar. I like your attitude. <laughs> you <laughs> you, you. Kind of, you kind of miss perfect a little bit, aren't you? You like everything perfect. Yeah, I like everything to be <laughs> near perfect. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> I'm like that too, you know, kind of, lots of musicians are very laid back, which is kind of great. I jealous to people like that, but you can't change yourself, isn't it? Very difficult. Yeah, I know. People don't <laughs> change. <so. laughs> no, no, unless they want themselves to change anyway. So yeah. back to your music. Anyway, you said you started to sing since three, then you learned, um, you wrote your first song at 13 and you learned to play guitar at about 12. That's your journey. And tell me, are you from rural part of America? Are you in a city or are you in the countryside? Where are you? Um, so I'm about 10 miles north of Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, it's a nice suburb. We don't have countrysides like you guys do over in Ireland. Um, not nearly as many sheep, but <laughs> <laughs> we, we, it's a nice little suburb area. Nice. Yeah. Okay. And so why country music then did you sing any everything first and you moved to country music or was it always your first love 
so my mother raised me on country music. I wasn't allowed to listen to rap or pop music until I was older. So oh, really? country has just been my background. Oh wow! And tell me, what was your favorite? Who was your favorites? Who you started to listen to? Your mom's. Uh, so I started with Toby Keith and Alan Jackson, and obviously when I got a little older, I liked Taylor Swift. Yeah, she became one of my favorites. Um, and now. I tend to listen to Luke Combs, uh, Luke Bryan, all of them. So, standing on a corner, laughing, acting cool after school. Lighting up a cigarette, bragging while he's taking bets. Walks into Maggie's market, hides a beer down in his cold pocket. Looks around and wonders how he's gonna make it out the door. With something he don't plan to buy. Slips around back, whole gang hollers, hey, give me five. Everybody wants to be loved. Everybody wants to be someone. Everybody needs to be wanted Everybody wants to be loved Pulling out the drive, waving him goodbye Press for time, mama left a note that said Lock the door before you go to bed Running to her second job and wondering why she lives this life Asking where the years are gone and wishing she could find someone To tell her everything's gonna be alright Pulls up in the parking lot, turns off the car and starts to cry Everybody wants to be loved Everybody wants to be someone Everybody needs to be wanted Everybody wants to be loved He's sitting at a... Okay, so you kind of, you, you moved into modern country more now, is it? Um, Away from traditional I listen to most everything. Um, you can catch me listening to any genre. Uh, but I do tend to like the modern a bit more today. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I, I suppose it's, it's natural, isn't it? Like you, yeah. have to, you have to be in tune with what's going on at the moment. And yeah. okay, lovely that. So you started to listen to music. Your mom was... Um, showing you and then how did you come up to with the writing your own songs did you what did you start to do poems music how did it start the magic um i mean i always liked singing and i wanted to express myself and i was complaining to my dad one day about how the guys in school never like me and he said well you could be useful and you could write a song about it and so i did and everybody around me loves it. Okay, so you ex expressed yourself. It's lovely, isn't it, that music makes us do that, to put our emotions into something, let it out, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And then hopefully somebody will connect as well with this, which, which often happens. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, and um, so you started to write, and did you write many songs? How many songs would you have by now? Do you write constantly? Um, so I am trying to write constantly. Sometimes the ideas just don't flow. But right now I have 12 original songs, um, eight of which are actually on Spotify and iTunes right now. So. Oh, great. You have yeah. your own channel on Spotify. Mm -hmm. You have your own channel. You have yourself as an artist, is I it? I do, yeah. So did you release it as an album to Spotify or as singles? Um, I released it as an album. Uh, just with the eight songs, I mm -hmm. want people to come back looking for more. So I haven't released the other four yet, but good. You can see an album in the future. <laughs> good, of course, lots of lots of ahead of you. And then, all right, you were writing your own songs. You loved country music. How did you get the band? When the band happened? Uh, so I will say this: my father is a great manager. Um, he contacted many different musicians. Uh, we've had our people that stay and people that go but we have a solid lineup because of his connections i must say your father is amazing i was saying to myself oh i wish somebody else will do that for me as well because your father the, the one who contacted me yes <laughs> he is great yeah. 
And is he, he is. is he into music himself too? Um, so he's not a musician, but he is an entertainer. Uh, so what he calls himself and what other people call him is the man of a thousand voices. Uh, he does voice impersonations. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yep. Oh, I love that. Yeah. It's a ta- it's a talent, isn't it, Brunia, to do that? He has a good talent. He doesn't have the vocals, though. <laughs> well, you can't do everything. You will have <laughs> singing. <laughs> so how big is your band? How many members? Um, so right now we have about six people. Uh, we have a drummer. We have an acoustic guitarist, an electric guitar. Um, we have a few background singers and we have a violin <laughs> great it's like full band and tell me Rene, how do you keep them going like do you actually have a paid gigs do you go are you gigging with this band yeah yeah so you... we have paid gigs it's about once a month uh next month we have two because we needed to reschedule one mm-hmm. but right now i have four big gigs lined up for the future <laughs> and is it uh, are you part of other people's gig or it's only your one do you organize uh, I do my own shows, um, and when other people do join me, which is rare, I typically headline. So you're usually yourself. Um, if you have your own show, then I'm sure you have few. How how long is it? How many songs do you normally sing? Um, I sing anywhere between 15 and 25, so it's a big range. It just depends on what they're looking for at the venue. Oh, okay. So you just to look and see what people are looking for requirements and maybe some covers as well, is it? You do it. Yes. Uh, what if you will talk about percentage on your shows um, between covers and originals? What would it be? Uh, it would be about half and half. Half and half. I tend to do all of my originals um, minus one or two on certain days. And then I will fill the rest of the show with covers, but I don't like to associate myself so much with covers. Do you know why I'm asking you that question? It's interesting because I like it's great that we communicate in this way because I am a songwriter as well. I love to sing my own music. Obviously, you want to, isn't it? Mm. And in Ireland, it's kind of, it's traditional that, oh, no, 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 don't sing your own music. People don't want it. They want something they know. Mm-hmm. But I just was kind of thinking myself, I mean, I mean it's it's not only about, like, I know that you, do, you shouldn't educate people. You should deliver their customers. But you want to deliver your own product, though, isn't it? So yeah. how, how do you find that? When you sing originals, do people take it well? Like, they don't know your music. Yeah, um, so typically when I sing originals, uh, people will get up and dance because I do have a few faster ones. Um, But they do dance more to covers. Uh, They do appreciate the covers. Um, It's just a healthy medium goes Mm -hmm. a long way. (laughs) So what you're talking about then, the gigs you're doing, is that dancing gigs? Do people come to dance country music, is it? Yeah, sometimes they dance, sometimes they don't. It depends on the night. Um, and what sort? I have a, sorry, sorry what sort of what sort of dancing? Because in Ireland, uh, it's the j- jiving. You know, when the couple kind of jiving. <laughs> I think it's different in America, isn't it? It, um, it? Yeah, it just depends. Uh, typically, people just like jump around. <laughs> <laughs> it's not real dancing. It's nothing in particular. It's just to <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Is it? laughs> you do it's very serious business here in Ireland. It's jiving and people go to lessons and they're so professional. The jiving competitions here and everything. No. <laughs> no, we have no rhythm here in America. <laughs> <laughs> good. Well, it's good. It's easier then, isn't it? No pressure. Oh, oh, no pressure on how you dance. Points one way, the lot we used to pass by every day. Just walk away, Renee. You won't see me follow you back home. The empty sidewalks on my blocks are not the same.
And tell me, Rene, um, are you touring all around um, America? Have you been outside yet at all? Do you have any plans? Um, so I haven't had any gigs outside of America, uh, but I have been on uh, KFM, which is Kildare Radio. Yes. Uh, as a speaker and a singer. Um, is that, then, a, uh, who was the presenter? Liam Kett, is it? Yeah, it was Liam. Oh, he's lovely. He plays my music a lot, too. He's very good. Yeah, I love him. <laughs> so you done the interview over the phone with him, is it? Over Sorry. the phone? On the phone? Was it interview yeah, so over the phone? I did one over the phone, and then I was actually back in Ireland over August. Um, oh, were you? So I visited, and oh. you know, we had a chat in person. Oh, that's nice. Very nice. How long did you stay in here, Ine? Um, so I was actually studying abroad at the beginning of last year. So I was there for four and a half months, but then I went back, um, just to visit for like a week. Mm -hmm. Do you, how, what do you think about Ireland anyway? What's oh, I the, love it. You love it? Yeah, I wish I could live there. Oh, really? Why? <laughs> I, it's just so perfect and beautiful and serene. It is. And there's just a different mindset in Ireland than in America. Well, that's for sure. There's not, well, it's changing, but still Irish people are more, much more laid back and very, mm -hmm. very kind. I like, I'm myself a foreigner, but I count myself a, a, an Irish at this stage. It's my adopted country. I love Irish people. They just did be the best. I wouldn't change it, this country for anything. Exactly. Yeah, it's lovely. Well, I'm sure you will come back again in here, and then we can meet in person as well. Oh, I'm sure I will. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> do something together, maybe. Okay, yeah. tell me next then. Okay, so it all sounds like good. You have a manager, which is great. You have a band. You have a talent. Yourself singing, playing an instrument, writing music. Okay, what's the plan for this year? Do you have any plan laid out for yourself? What are you doing this year? Um, so I have the gigs that uh, are already scheduled coming up. I'm trying to get into a few fairs uh, in the fall season. And then I'm also trying to, uh, there's a venue down at Cape Cod in Massachusetts called the Melody Tent, which is a huge venue. Thank you. Thank open, the venue. Yeah, I'm trying to open up for some uh, country singers down there. Mm -hmm. It's hard when you start in a, a art. I know, I know it's hard to get into because there is a certain circle already going and yep. it's hard to break through it. But uh, well, the only advice, keep, keep, keep doing it. Keep yeah, knocking to the doors and sometimes it'll open. It has to. Mm -hmm. It'll give up eventually, but just don't give up your talent and your music. Very important this. Thank you. To release any any more music this year or probably more kind of towards live gigging now is it um so i do have another song that's in the works right now uh we're trying to figure out exactly what the instrumentation is going to be um i'm not sure when we're gonna uh release it but it will definitely be this year at some point probably okay. more towards summertime okay and another question one of the last ones Renee. where do you record what studio do you use 
Um, so I use a studio at a family friend's house. Uh, he has a built-in one. He uses very professional gear, but it's uh, just right in Massachusetts, like 20 minutes from my house. Oh, that's fabulous. Yeah. Pretty so stu studio is near you, and do you use live musicians then? Is your band playing when you record or who? Um, typically, we have professional uh, or more professional musicians uh, send their tracks from Nashville. Um, oh, oh yeah. so you're doing it over the internet? Yeah. Great idea. Very good. Thank so you. Wh whoever, your producer, whoever records it, he has the contacts and he gets it, yes. isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Lots of people started to do it recently. I do so, most of my tracks the same way. They're not Nashville musicians, but from like England and stuff. Yeah? It works It works fab as well. Very good. Okay, so if people want to listen to your music and find out about you, first of all, your website. Do you have a website? I do. What is the name of it? Uh, so you can type in my first and last name. It's ReneeLevitt.com. And are you active on Facebook? Can people follow you on Facebook as well? Yeah, yeah, I have a page on Facebook. Uh, my dad actually manages it. If you type in Renee Levitt Singer. Okay. Yeah. They can find you in there. Yeah. This, listen, we wishing you all, all the best with your music career. You're only starting up and you're very full of energy and talent and everything. So keep going and hopefully we'll see you sometimes in Ireland. And keep in touch. I have a music group on the on Facebook, Country and Folk in Europe and Beyond. The same name as this broadcast, okay? So I uh, I'll, I'll send information to you, Dad, and please post all your news and videos that people know, okay? Awesome. Thank you. Okay, Vene. Lovely talking to you. Lovely talking to you, too. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. Why don't you love me like you used to do? How come you treat me like a worn-out shoe? My hair is still curly and my eyes are still blue. So why don't you love me like you used to do? Why don't you love me like you?